Hi, I'm Mike of Boxing Shrink TV. Today I got a video for you guys and just my two cents on a fight that needs to happen in 2019, and I believe will. It's the second biggest fight in boxing, and it's Terrence Crawford versus Earl Spence Jr. There's nothing bigger. This fight's going to bring out so many damn people. Um, it's the money fight, man. I'm telling you. The person that wins this fight's the next Mayweather, 100%. And I, uh, so, let's get into it a little bit, okay? The reason I'm talking about this right now is because everybody's always talking about this. It's not anything new. And especially since they've both been, you know, fighting in a short window of each other. You know, Cropper just winning. Uh, just destroying Jeff Horn. Destroying him. Okay? And then, you know, people are coming out saying, Horn ain't shit. Okay, cool. But anyways, you got, you know... Earl Spence Jr. is going to fight Ocampo. He'll probably stop him, you know, before the sixth or seventh round, most likely, you know, maybe even earlier. Um, but yeah, so, you know, everybody's talking about this. And then, you know, I go to, I was listening actually. So, first, to start off, I was working out, listening to the uh, punchline, uh, the Pavlik punchline with Kelly Pavlik and James Dominguez. Uh, I'll post their information below, uh, give them a sub. Uh, you know, they got good podcasts. I think they come out one with them every Tuesday. They come out with a podcast. Um, you know, so definitely give them a, a, a sub. But I'm telling you guys, um, they were both, you know, I caught the tail end of the podcast. And they were talking about the fight between Earl Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford. How they both are favoring, you know, uh, Earl Spence Jr. to win that just on size and, and power and whatnot. And I disagree, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and then uh, James Dominguez brought up that he heard Terrence Crawford versus um, uh, Amir Khan's the next fight. That would be fucking awesome. Because Terrence Crawford's going to whoop that ass, man. And uh, so, yeah, that's, that's something to look forward to in the fall. But, uh, so, yeah. So, basically, you know, I heard that. And, you know, that's uh, most people in the boxing community actually believe that Earl Spence Jr. is just going to be able to do whatever he wants against Terrence Crawford, and I just I couldn't disagree more. So anyways, I was on YouTube. Uh, I got the bell icon for this guy. His name's The Boxing Clinic and more. Uh, I'll post his information below. Definitely give him a sub. Like, this guy's the future in boxing media, I'm telling you. This guy is just on fire lately. And anyways, um, he did a video. No marinating Terrence Crawford versus Earl Spence Jr. needs to happen as. AP. I couldn't agree more. I mean, this is the fight. This is the money fight. This is the fight boxing needs. It has to happen now. You cannot marinate it. Too many things will go wrong. The general public has fucking memories like goldfish, literally every six seconds. It doesn't, there's too much content. You know, you gotta, you gotta strike it while it's hot, okay? I, I'm telling you guys, this fight has to happen soon. And I believe 100% it's going to happen in 2019 because there's going to be too much damn... There's going to be too many people coming at, like, Al Heyman and PBC, you know, and, like, Al Heyman and Bob Arum. They're just going to just keep on getting hit up, you know, to make this fight happen. And if they're smart and they, you know, listen to, obviously, the Boxing Clinic and more video, um, you know, there's other great channels out there that are bringing up the same thing. They'll have it in 2019... Okay. In Atlanta. Super Bowl weekend. How about that shit? Because that's where the Super Bowl is in 2019. You know how fucking big Terrence Crawford versus Earl Spence Jr. would be in Atlanta on Super Bowl weekend? It'd be the greatest thing ever. Let's fucking make it happen. Bob Arum. Al Heyman. You'll make a lot of money. So there you go. Um, that's just, you know, we can all dream, can't we? But I, I think that would be great. But anyway, so, um, you know, I, I, then I'm, I'm on the boxing clinic and more. Uh, he, then he puts out a video two hours later that says, Earl Spence Jr. going to dog walk Terrence Crawford. I couldn't, di I couldn't disagree more. <laughs> but, like, that's the general consensus, you know what I mean? Everybody just thinks Crawford's too big, and, uh, you know, he's just going to have his way with Terrence uh, or, I mean, Spence is too big and he's just going to have his way with Crawford. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys. Here's a picture of her with me and Terrence Crawford. 
I'm about, I'm a, I'm a little under 5'8", okay? Um, and, and that's nothing to fucking brag about. But Terrence Crawford was, you know, he's a lot taller than me. Um, here's the picture, and it's just, you know, um, he's probably, Terrence Crawford's a good 5'8 and a half, okay? So, what's Earl Spence on Boxrec? They got him at five. They got him at five nine and a half. You know, um, so I mean the size difference is not that big, and it's not it's not going to be an issue. I'm telling you guys, man, um, and and that's why that's like the thing where it kind of pisses me off that people just always bring up um, that uh, you know Earl Spence, you know Earl Spence Jr. is just so much bigger than Terrence Crawford. Not really an inch. At 147 pounds, because he's got to make the weight. Yeah, he can rehydrate and all that, but man, if you're gonna go 12 rounds with, uh, you know, Terence Crawford, you probably want to keep your weight down, you know, especially throughout camp. That would be, you know, my opinion. Um, you know, I, he's got a great team. They they got a great game plan. I'm not like telling them what to do. I'm just saying, you know, it makes sense that he'd probably come into camp a little lighter then whatever, what does he walk around at, 180 or something? I have no idea, I'm just throwing something out there. But, um, so yeah, I don't think the size thing is actually a really big deal. I honestly think the 147 weight class probably favors Terrence Crawford because he doesn't have to cut as much weight. It's a lot of stress on the body, you know. I, I saw a little article, or it was on something on, on Facebook about, you know, Freddie Roach is saying that, you know, weight cutting's overrated and I couldn't agree more like especially in boxing um you know I I think some weight cutting is just completely overrated and actually depletes the fighter more than helps them. so yeah you know so the weight issue I don't think is going to be too big I don't think Earl Spence is just going to walk Terrence Crawford down um and then so yeah let's go on a, some more fight talk I guess all right so you know, Jeff Horn versus uh, Terrence Crawford, I, I watched it. It was a fucking flawless performance. A flawless fucking performance by Terrence Crawford. You couldn't write it up better. He fought like the perfect southpaw, man. Like, seriously, like, he, he did, like, if you're a southpaw, just watch what he did that fight and copy him, okay? He just fought perfect versus Horn. And people are going to say, oh, yeah, Horn's this and that. Well, Horn's pretty good. And he just made him look silly. You know what I mean? And then even the, the thing that I liked during that Jeff Horn fight, like I think it was the eighth round, he went just to orthodox. Oh my God, he looked better in orthodox than he did in southpaw. Like I'm serious. That was something special, man. I mean, uh, people are hating on it, and a lot of people probably didn't get to watch it because the app, but man, I'm telling you guys, it, man, I've never seen Terrence Crawford look better. Like, he's, that was the best Terrence Crawford I've ever seen. By a long shot, man. Looked so good at 147 pounds. He's big for the weight, man. Like, I don't know why people are hating on him. So, like, you know, like, Terrence Crawford is going to have, he's going to be able to adjust in the fight, in my opinion. And, you know, maybe go orthodox on Spence. You know, maybe fight him in Southpaw. But he's going to be able to do whatever the fuck he wants, in my opinion. I believe he's going to outbox Earl Spence. Okay? Um, so, yeah, basically, you know, i got to pick a side. You know, I, I, since the beginning of this channel, I put out some videos on Terrence Crawford. I put out videos on Earl Spence Jr. You know, I make comments on YouTube, you know, um, you know praising these guys because they're for sure the, the top guys. Like, they're going to be some of the top 147 pounders of all time. But I'm just saying, like, I, I'm picking a side, and it's fucking Terrence Crawford. And I believe he is going to beat Earl Spence Jr. because he has more tools in his toolbox. He's more hood. I don't know if that's a political correct thing to say, but I'm telling you, he's had to overcome a lot of adversity, getting shot in the head, getting in fights in school all the time, all that shit. It all adds up, man. I'm telling you, I love my fighters like that. <laughs> Hey, I'm just being real. So I, I like that aspect where he's just fucking angry, and it's like me versus the world. He's got to get he's got to get pissed off. You know what I mean? Uh, like you know that's what they were bringing up on the uh, ESPN. They're talking about how you know he's he's got that fighter mentality where it's just like him versus the world, and you know 
man, I, I love that personally. I think that brings, you know, the, some of the best fighters in history have had that, 100%. You know, and I'm not discrediting Earl Spence or anything like that, like in any means, and I'm not about the hood thing or anything. I'm just saying Terrence Crawford's a bad motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? And that's why, that's another attribute in this fight. I like him, the reason I like him to beat Earl Spence Jr., because he can just bring it out, you know what I mean? And he, he wants to win, man, I'm telling you. Um, and yeah, um, that's really uh, my two cents. I just wanted to put this fucking video out to kind of make it clear why, you know, I'm picking Terrence Crawford. I just believe his boxing IQ, I just believe he's got more tools in the toolbox with punch combinations, with his movement, being able to switch from southpaw to orthodox, and just be able to flow, you know. And I'm not saying Earl Spence is just a scripted fighter where he's got an exact blueprint to knock you out, you know. But I'm just saying, like, what I've seen from Earl Spence Jr., it, he, they, he follows the game plan, you know. And Crawford just does whatever the fuck he wants to do. That's just my personal opinion. I could be completely wrong here. I'm not, I'm not hating on either guy. I'm just kind of hyping this fight up. And I'm just sick of people, like, all on Facebook, all on YouTube, are just, you know, giving Terrence Crawford no chance. I'm telling you guys, Terrence Crawford would probably beat Mayweather. Like, the Terrence Crawford that beat Jeff Horn was fucking something special, man. And everybody can say, oh, it's Jeff Horn. Well, then what is... So once, if Earl Spence Jr. knocks out Campo in the fourth, then is that something special? Campo's never fought out of Tijuana or fucking Mexico. And that's fine. And good for him that he's getting this fight. But I just don't think he's ready. And I think uh, Jeff Horn would beat the shit out of Campo. So that's it, man. Um, I'm not really trying to like have any fights with anybody like uh, about this. I'm just telling you guys, I just think Terrence Crawford is number one pound for pound, is going to stay number one pound for pound, is going to unify the titles at 147 pounds, and is probably going down as one of the best fighters of all time. I'm telling you guys, Terrence Crawford's on another level than Lomachenko, I, and I'm going to get some shit for that too. I, I get it. The only reason Terrence Crawford isn't a superstar is A, because he doesn't Maybe he doesn't have, he has a great, he has a good personality, that's not the thing. It's just he does, he's not like a Mayweather, he's not throwing cash around and shit like that. And, and you know, he just, he just fights. He, he sells his, you know, his fights in the ring, you know, that's how he sells it. So, you know, there you go, man. That's uh, my video, I'm just really excited. And uh, that that's it, I just want to kind of throw you guys some, you know, my, my opinion. But uh, that's it, man, uh, definitely, um sub to those channels i'll post below and oh yeah uh con versus terence crawford on abc wouldn't that be interesting that would make this fight even bigger so i'm telling you al Heyman, bob arum get that shit in atlanta on super bowl weekend and thank me later all right guys on to the next video thanks for watching